What's up guys, welcome to your 35th Java tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make a variable length argument list. Now I showed you guys how to build methods using uh, multi-dimensional arrays and also how to build basic methods, but each time you did, you needed to tell it what arguments it took. But sometimes you want to build a method and you don't know how many arguments it took. So for example, say you want to build a method to average a bunch of numbers. Well, maybe you don't know how many numbers you want to average first, so you don't know how many arguments to give it. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a method that takes um, however many arguments you want. So let's go ahead and build a method outside our main method. Uh, let's build a public static int, since it's going to be returning integers, average. And I just named it average. You can name it whatever you want. Now go ahead and it's going to take an argument of integers, but you don't know how many. So anytime you don't know how many, what you do is put an ellipse, and that's three dots, and then put the name of the variable you want to use. And instead of putting int x, int y, int z, you just put three dots, and what three dots means is, all right, I'm going to be throwing numbers in here, but I don't know if I'm going to be throwing two numbers, five numbers, or 500 numbers. So dot 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 means just do it, and I'm not going to tell you how many numbers. So now that we have that, that's a new thing uh, I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Dot 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 means you don't know how many arguments it's going to take. Let's go ahead and build a simple function. Let's just total um, all these numbers, so it starts at zero since we don't have any numbers yet. Uh, let's make an enhanced for loop. Um, set our variable equal to x, and it takes numbers in it. And let's just add all those numbers to the total. So total plus equals x. So it's going to loop through all those numbers and add them all to the total. So now after that, we just need to return um, the average. So return total over numbers the length. So what this does, if you threw uh, five numbers in here, it's going to return total divided by five. If you only threw um, three numbers in here, it's going to return that total divided by three. So number, which should actually be numbers, is what you passed in with, and the length of it is how many values. So that's how that works. So this is our method we just built. Now we need a way to output it on the screen. So go back to your main function so you can run this program and just write system out, move my mouse, print line, and let's just print something like um, average and then in here in your average method you can type however many numbers you want 43 56 76 and 8 and let me go ahead and run this and show you guys the average of this is 45 so that took um, four arguments or four numbers right there but let's say we wanted to add more 65 76 2 and 31 let's go ahead and run this does it still work yep interestingly enough the average is only 44 for this hmm, interesting so this is what this does anytime you want to build a method this is the meat of the story right here anytime you want to build a method that you don't know how many arguments it's going to take so for example we pass like four the first time and eight the second time what you want to do is put what type it is the ellipse and then you just give yourself a variable that you can work with in your method so again that ellipse right there means I don't know how many it is so I don't have to make it over and over again so again we just built the method right there and called it in our main function right there so that's your quick tutorial on how to make a variable length argument list in methods that you build so you don't have to write um, a new method each time you want to enter a different number of arguments um, so practice that and once you uh, play with it a couple times you'll get good at it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget I'm gonna have uh, this video able for free download so make sure you do that if you want so thank you guys for watching now see you next tutorial